Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. You're so cute. Oh my god. You're making me butt. Yeah. <laughs> You're the game. This is serious. <laughs> so, this is Sam. <laughs> I I already know I'm not gonna look at the lens that much. I'm really okay. I really I was like sh I haven't looked at the lens once so far. <laughs> yeah. We're here to say that doing long distance isn't as scary as it may seem. We have been doing long distance for three years. Me from America. Me from the UK. And this is my partner Sam. And this is my partner Gina. <laughs> When we first started doing long distance uh, as a relationship, uh, we chose a day to dedicate to being connected with each other. <laughs> and we named it Jams Day, as it is a combination of our names. Yes, we're adorable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we ensure to call every damn Jams Day. Every, which is on the Sunday. We on decided Sunday, yeah. to do Sunday. Uh, yeah. End of the week. Make sure we call. It, it can be... Well, end of the week in England. Yeah. <laughs> the beginning of the uh, week for Americans. Right, right. <laughs> uh, and we call every Sunday, whether it's for hours and hours and hours into my morning, into your night, where it's mm. 15 minutes, because that's all we have. We, we, we make sure we call every jam stage just to uh, uh, touch base and connect. And we do a series of questions yeah. that are every jam stage that are really good reconnecting questions, which is something that we actually need to work on when we're together in person. Yeah, we're terrible at that. But it, it's such a good pillar when we're long distance because... Mm -hmm. It's like, if someone's like, oh, let's hang out Sunday. It's like, oh, sorry. That's that's a day reserved for Sam. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. What? Just stopping everyone coming at us. The uh, plants, because... Sorry. I got a girlfriend to call. <laughs> partner to call. I got a partner to call. <laughs> so, we ask each other both what our highlight of the week is and what mm. we're proud of for the week. And we kind of, like, recap. Yeah. And we want to, like know the highlight because we're focusing on the positive and yeah, yeah. also like what we're proud of because I want us to like be proud of ourselves so it's also like focusing on yeah. like um nurturing the relationship with ourselves yeah. and viewing ourselves in a positive way um and just being proud of the accomplishments that we've yeah. done and sharing that with each other yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like focusing the positive with the highlight mm -hmm. and what we're proud of and what else um what we're looking forward to for the next week looking to the future mm -hmm. Um, and also that's when we also just touch base a lot as well as like what plans we have what we, plans we have yeah. anything that we need to like be aware of which is remind the other person as well and just like yeah touch yeah. base a lot and it's just something to look forward to like it just gets you in a positive mindset doesn't it for the, mm. for the rest of the week this one we don't do every jam state mm. but we do have done sometimes and something that i want to make sure that we implement is the question and the kind of like the time where we are able to bring up any grievances that we've had mm. with one another True. um any feelings that we bottle up just to like avoid resentment yeah because thanks <laughs> <Fake. laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's just a really good way to like squash that to make sure that like nothing like builds up yeah. but also to like also in that way like we're already feeling connected emotionally we're already feeling pretty open emotionally and so it's a lot mm -hmm. a nicer time to bring up anything and like so we're able to um much more gentle more gentle and also like actually like reassure yeah. instead of like go into like defensive mode yeah, and true. so that's also just again really good for any relationship but something that we want to make sure that we implement more of <laughs> especially if one partner isn't used to bringing up stuff in the moment or just used to bringing up stuff <laughs> that bothers them Sorry, <laughs> So yeah, it's a good opportunity and like time to practice that. And then, what's the final thing we do then? Compliments! Compliments. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good thing to do after grievances. Mm. So it gives the time to just actually, just, what's the words? Unrequited reassurance. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Done to <laughs> that. You know, reassurance without asking for reassurance in a way. Yeah. Um, but it's also good. just That's like... Awesome. Yeah, compliments are like, like we compliment each other, whether it's something like, I love his nose, because I love his nose, <laughs> or like, I'm really proud of like how hard you worked. You want to make sure that your partner sees you mm. and that you see your partner. Mm. And so complimenting them, even if it's the same compliment multiple weeks in a row yeah. or whatnot, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just a really sweet, connective time. 
to like share love and also mm-hmm. receive it as well. Yeah, makes sense, baby. Makes sense. <laughs> mm-hmm. <You see>. yeah. <laughs> anything else? Anything else? Do we have anything else? Oh, we have lots of other habits, don't we? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Rituals. Oh, we we do um, little good night emojis. Oh yeah, that was so cute. So we have assigned emojis, and all yeah. these things like came naturally. They yeah. just came naturally for us. So we have goodnight emojis that we send each other because sometimes we can just keep talking and we need to stop talking, especially me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got thoughts and I want to share them. Okay. <laughs> no. But he got to go to sleep. <laughs> so the goodnight emojis are like the final like good night yeah, <laughs> we're done talking true, today because sam's gotta sleep <laughs> i have to sleep but they're also just like cute little markers so we send good night emojis and then we like like the messages and everything so that's a really sweet ritual yeah. and then also the rituals are just like making sure that you actually ask each other's like how each other's days are yep. um connecting i hate rushing through yeah. reconnecting when we've been apart Ooh. was there a bee? This big bumblebee doing <laughs> <laughs> but like even in person like mm-hmm. I hate it when he comes back and like we don't have a proper hug I'm like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Proper with him. yeah like it's just Touch good base. it's just nice to like reconnect with that somebody instead of just like whizzing past them or yeah. just being like hey honey I'm home it's like oh hi it's like because no, no. these are the things that that kill your relationship honestly and that's why it's so important to me to make sure that like we still share that love and we still and we just get in the habit of making sure that we ask each other's days and yeah. Giving love and saying hello and goodbye, good morning and good night, sending those texts. And also sending um, memes. Those are like little gifts. Like, oh, yeah. like if someone's like. Especially when we're sleeping. If someone's like gift giving, if someone yeah. likes to gift give or receive gifts. Yeah. Like, I feel like memes are like really cute of like, I thought of you and like this, yeah. I like this video and I wanted to share it with you. Yeah, definitely. As well. Also, like, Sam sends me food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he buys me food, which is so nice. Yeah, he you're just propping up and thinking about that. <laughs> huh? Like, la, la, la. About that. Yeah, because it's so sweet. <laughs> and like, you're taking care of me. Um, so that's another way to like gift gifts. Gift, give, gift, give gifts. Give gifts. It's like mints or mints. I was saying gift gives. My dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, baby? Uh, we ask each other, this is just a small note, Roger, you don't have to add this. But we ask each other what our color of the day is. Yeah! Uh, we have like questions that we just go back to. Yeah. Like, what's the speak. color of the day? Because we, yeah. when we were on our first date, like, it was like, what's your favorite color? Both of us were like, I don't know, like, it yeah. depends. And it kind of sparked of like, what's the color of the day? Like, what's the color yeah. that's sticking out to you? What's the color that describes the day for you? Yeah. And like, why? Yeah. Yeah. What's the color of the day for you today, honey? Hold on. It's just, it's kind of like also learning, like to experience the world from their point of view as well. Like if Sam says, what's the color of the day for you, honey? Me? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> green. Green. It's so green. Around. Why is it green? Because it is so green around. Like everywhere you it's look, beautiful. it's green. We're in a beautiful park and everybody's out and active. It's so <laughs> cute. So, so if we were long distance and he said his color was green, yeah. I could like mentally picture myself being with yeah. him and like feeling yeah. his world with him, you yeah. know? Yeah. Sometimes also it's a good way to understand how the person is emotionally in a way as well. Mm. Uh, like mm. how I view it. If you say something's like a light pink or, you mm. know, like a pastel color, I can imagine you being a bit more softer that day. Mm. Oh, or like... Yeah. Comfy colors like maroon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bright orange. I'm like, all right, she needs to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I got energy. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that we love to do is online dates. Um, so we like either can eat together or play games together or just to have little movie nights. Oh, is it dead? We're ignoring the fact that this died. We have little games that we play. We used to play Snapchat games a lot in the past. <laughs> yeah. They do that we do anyway. battleships. That's cute. Just have our little well, walks together. We go on walks together. Yeah. yeah making online day special. And the, and the thing that I like is that I actually think a lot more people are going long distance. So there's actually a lot of different ways yeah. to 
have like online dates or do sweet things. I know there are yeah. couples, who, which is something I want to do, where they send journals back and forth. So have they have one journal yeah. that they like created? Uh, I want to do that. Yeah, also, yeah. I love sending him letters. Yeah, you do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those are so romantic. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and there's a lot of different ways to like connect in that way. Mm. I also want to mention like respecting each other's alone time True. because I know whenever like Sam is free and I'm free and we're long distance. I'm like, okay, I need to be with him, mm. but maybe I'm on a pissy mood. Okay. <laughs> maybe I actually need to be alone. Mm. And so finding the balance between like being with each other, but also respecting your alone time and mm. maybe just doing parallel play. Maybe you don't even have to always like talk all the time. You yeah. can just hang out together. Yeah. Like, yeah, we can just be on call whilst you like do clean the room. And I can, I don't know. So do whatever stand. you want. <laughs> yeah. So, like, respecting that sort of alone time and also, like, not always being talkative. Yeah. Which is something that I need to work on with Sam because Sam works a lot. Yeah, I um, know. It's going to be interesting. Do you have any final words, honey? Oh, he's yawning. <sighs> I just love you. Huh? I just love you. <laughs> I love you, too. And I love how good we are at long distance. Yeah. And in person, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was another thing is like it, it, it was like we had to get used to also being in person as well like I feel mm. like every time like we're used to long distance then we have to get used to being in person it's mm. obviously so more usual the, the longer we've been together yeah, yeah, yeah but because we do some days like months off and on yeah there's the period of like oh fuck like I miss him like I know when yeah. I leave and we leave each other like my body I'm gonna have withdrawals yeah like physical oh, no, withdrawals honey. because like yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's honestly like what it feels like going through a breakup obviously not the same but I know I don't know about you honey but I know whenever I went through breakups like obviously it's the breakups suck but also the physical withdrawals like yeah that sucked yeah no absolutely and i noticed that like because we keep like we're just together for such a long time like i mm. feel myself getting more and more like attached to you mm. and are, like physically being with you when we are together mm. that when we leave it's so sad <laughs> yeah and so it's sucky because like you have to go through these moments and i have to like accept it but like i said like you also have to just take the opportunity and just accept it and just know that you actually are spending time with each other as i mentioned before like a lot of people want to what's the word a lot of people try to downplay or minimize like long yeah. distance relationships yeah. or like spending time long distance but mm -hmm. that's why i say like one of the tips is to really understand that you're hanging out with that person like you are connecting to them emotionally and physically mm -hmm. not physically <laughs> <laughs> Mentally. literally long distance <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah also like little things like you can have like their perfume bottles or yeah, true, true. like an article of their clothing and yeah. whatnot yeah you should take one of my jumpers home yeah yeah i should <laughs> yeah you should yeah but yeah is there anything else you want to say honey mm, i don't think so i think we kind of have touched on everything it will be hard it's gonna be hard um, yeah but it's just about finding the ways to make it work and to accept your situation. Oh, another thing. This is something mm -hmm. that I really want to make sure is known is that having an end game, knowing oh, you're going to see yeah, each other. True. I yeah, know yeah. for you, that was really helpful. Yeah. 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 Always having like a, a plan to see each other again in the future kept me going. Hmm. Uh, it just gave me something to look forward to really. And to understand that uh, when it does get tough, um, that it's not permanent it will get better yeah um, that was really helpful for me mentally and for us we're i'm gonna be applying for a visa sam and i have been through a whole entire visa <sighs> situation yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's been, it's been, and we're, I'm gonna, we're actually going to film a video right after this um, that I'm going to post, actually, I think after this video goes out, where we talk about the whole drama of the visa situation. Just know it's hard. It's been hard, but I'm hopefully going to be moving here in the fall of this year. So then we don't have to do long distance anymore. Yeah. Um, ignore the plane passing by. But the other thing that I really like to touch on is because we've been long distance mm -hmm. and because we can do it, it makes me feel better knowing that if, like, when we're ever apart in the future. Yeah. 
we've got the skills. We've got the skills. Like I like to go on long trips. I like to live in different locations for like a month or two. And so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it makes it easier to be independent while also intertwined and connected together. Yeah. Thanks, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. you want to see us hop around Paris or hop around England, we have gone on so many cute dates together. So they'll be linked on the screen so you can watch us and explore the world with us. And wish us luck for our visa situation. Yeah. Yeah. You should, guys should subscribe to her because she's amazing and, <laughs> and funny. <laughs> and I love you. Bye. Nope, bye. <laughs>